Hello students, good morning everyone. From chapter 4, Weathering and Soil Formation, today we will discuss the topic, Types of Weathering. Types of Weathering. There are three types of weathering, physical, chemical and biological. In this three types of a Weathering, there are also a subdivision of this weathering part. So, today we will take the topic physical weathering. Physical weathering or you can say mechanical weathering. This physical weathering is also known as a mechanical weathering. This is divided into two parts. One is a temperature variation. Another one is the frost action. First of all, we will little discuss regarding the physical weathering. What is the meaning of physical weathering? Physical weathering or you can say a mechanical weathering or disintegration. Disintegration means what students? That means breaking down of rocks without any change in their chemical composition. It takes place either due to the temperature variation or a frost action. Again I am repeating physical weathering is, is the mechanical disintegration means breaking down of rocks without any change in their chemical position, it takes place either due to temperature variation or frost action. Now, first of all, we will discuss temperature variation. Temperature variation in here, weathering of rocks due to variation in temperature is common in plateau and desert regions where the daily range of temperature is high. When rocks are heated up during the day, they expand. At night, when the temperature drops, the rocks cool down and contract. This temperature variation is also known as a thermal weathering. Here it is divided by three parts. First one is the this occur actually this temperature variation is occurred through block disintegration, granular disintegration and exfoliation exfoliation so we will discuss this block disintegration this block disintegration granular disintegration and exfoliation this we will discuss separately and we are trying to understand why this weathering happened. First of all, we will take the block disintegration. So here, due to high daily range of temperature, rocks span during daytime and contract at night, leading to the rocks breaking up into blocks. This is called the block disintegration. What is block disintegration? Here, due to high daily range of temperature, what is happening in the plateau and desert region generally, rocks expand during daytime and contract at night, leading to the rocks breaking up into blocks. This is called the block disintegration. Next, we will discuss that granular disintegration. 
here. A rock expand and contract at different rates due to heating and cooling. This creates internal tension in the rock due to which the minerals get disintegrated grain by grain and break up of the rock. Afterwards, the exfoliation in desert, the outer layers of the rock expand much faster than the inner cooler area. At night, the reverse happens, causing stress. This leads to crack and spills and the outer part peels off from the inner part in concentrated layers referred to as spelling. Like one example I am giving you, then you can understand very easily that when you are trying to peeling an onion and notice how the layer of a skin come off, the similar exploration of rock occur in a similar manner. So, this is the process is known as exfoliation. Now, we are talking regarding the frost action. What is the frost action? This type of a weathering is common in mountain, risen and cold places when the temperature drops below. Freezing point. Rainwater that fills up the cracks and fissures of rocks freezes since ice has more volume than water. It exerts pressure on the cracks and gradually widens them. The winding of the cracks peels the rock into a smaller pieces. That is the frost action. One pick I am showing here that you can see the block disintegration spot. This picture is showing you the block disintegration part. Here you can observe that how the rocks expand during the daytime and contract at night and afterwards the rocks breaking up into a blocks, the big blocks it shows. This is the one example of disintegration. So, related to today's explanation, I have written four questions for your homework. List the factors that control the rate of weathering. How does frost action take place? Explain the functioning of the rock cycle. Explain with examples how weathering of rocks takes place due to temperature variations. This four questions is for your homework and complete it in your fair notebook. Next day we will take next topic. You just try to update your work according to the video. Goodbye.